Let's go through how you create an assessment on Hacker Earth. Firstly, after logging into Hacker Earth, click Test on your dashboard. In the subsequent page, simply click the Create New Test button in the top right corner. With the newly created test method of creating a coding test, you can create a test automatically in under a minute and with minimum technical knowledge. Once you click the Create New Test button, you can select the popular job role that are already pre-listed on this module or you can go ahead and choose an existing job role that defines by the platform. If you don't find the job role that you are looking to assess, you can always go ahead and create your own custom job role. Now let's create a test for a backend Java developer. Now you can see that the test creation window automatically displays the skill required for a Java dev backend developer. If you want to delete a specific skill that you don't want to assess or if you want to add another skill, you can go ahead and do that. Once you are set, HackerEarth automates the test creation process and gives you a sh shareable test within seconds. Alternatively, if you want to manually set up your coding test, you could pick and choose each and every question directly from the HackerEarth library or your own library. Just select the option to add question manually and create your own test with custom question. Finally, you can cre also create a coding test by importing the skill that are also be assessed directly from an existing job description file. Upload or add a job description and the platform will automatically select all the keys that the job description calls for and creates a test in seconds. Now let's define the work experience level. We understand that each role is different, so naturally the amount of work experience required will vary. That's why HackerEarth gives you the ability to clearly define the required amount of work experience. So you say you are looking to hire a developer with one to four years of experience. All you need to make this happen is move the slider to your experience range that matches your requirement. Next, you can set the duration of your test. In this case, assume you want to give candidate one hour to take the coding test. To do this simply, go ahead and define the duration as one hour. Then you can add tags to this test so it's easily searchable in future. Essentially, if you add tags that the test you create, you never need to remember the exact name of the test you create. Simply add a tag to all similar design tests and run a search using the tag to quickly find the appropriate test. Once this is done, you are all set. Simply go ahead and create the test by clicking the create test button. The HackerEarth platform will automatically go ahead and pick question based on the structure that you have defined. Now you might be wondering about the extent to which you can customize tests on HackerEarth. Even though these questions are chosen by the platform, you can always customize the question set in any way you wish to. If you don't want a particular question that was chosen by the platform, you can delete that and choose a completely different question from the library. Another important thing to consider while creating an assessment is whether to give fixed set of questions to all the candidates or to randomize the question. Randomizing questions will ensure that no two candidates receive the same question set. This is where the question pooling comes in handy. It ensures that all candidates are evaluated on the same difficulty level and skills. To use the question pooling feature, start by creating a section, now the name of the section and enable pooling. You also have the option to add bulk scoring here as per your requirement. For any given section, you can either use questions from HackerEarth library or manually added question. Let's consider the scenario where you manually add questions to a particular section of the library. In this particular scenario, the options of adding questions manually has been selected here. Now all you need to do is to go to the library, choose question that you want to add. Let's pick five questions that would be right fit uh, for the test and add them. Given that we have chosen to show two questions to the candidate, the HackerEarth platform randomly choose two questions from the pool of five questions. You can follow the same process and create as many sections as you want to and create a pool of questions for each section. The other scenario we would consider is adding question directly from HackerEarth library. To do this, create a section and enable pooling. Now instead of adding question manually, just select the option to add question from the HackerEarth library. Then look for the questions from the topic you want to assess in the section and then type the number of questions you want to include in the section. In this case, out of our available question in the Java Easy pool that is selected, we are choosing to include three randomly chosen questions to each candidate. Today we have covered two ways of pool questions. One is directly from the library and the second one is manually added question. So you can now go ahead and create as many sections as you want to and include any question type of your choice in this section. Doing this will ensure that each candidate gets a totally unique set of questions but will be evaluated on the same set of skills and difficulty level as per other candidates.